antiprotozoal drugs. At the end of this discussion, we'll be able to learn what are the antiprotozoal drugs, common types of protozoal infections, and associated symptoms, classes of oral protozoal drugs, antimalarial drugs, and miscellaneous antiprotozoal drugs. So what are antiprotozoal drugs? These are class of medication used to treat infection caused by protozoa, which are single cell organisms that belong to the type of parasites. Common types of protozoal infections and associated symptoms are malaria. It is transmitted by the bite of infected mosquitoes in tropical and subtropical areas of the world. Symptoms include fever, chills, sweating, headache, muscle aches, vomiting and diarrhea. Giardiasis. It is an intestinal infection which usually found in areas with poor sanitation and unsafe water. Trichomoniasis. It is a protozoal infection acquired through a sexual contact. Females may present with vaginal itchiness and odorous yellow vaginal discharge. Classes of oral antiprotozoal drugs. Commonly used oral antiprotozoal drugs can be generally classified into two main groups. First is antimalarial drugs and second is miscellaneous antiprotozoal drugs. Precautions are Use with caution in patients with neurological disorders, myasthenia gravis, it is a condition with muscle fatigue and weakness, glucose-6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency, it is an enzyme which helps red blood cells functions normally. General advice on taking oral antiprotozoal drugs. Avoiding the bite of mosquito is the first line and the best defense against contracting malaria. You are advised to rest in air-conditioned rooms or well-screened rooms. Use aerosol insecticide indoor and use bed nets if sleeping areas are not air-conditioned or screened. Whilst outdoor, you are advised to wear long sleeve shirts and trousers and apply insect repellents containing DEET on exposed skin and clothing. If you are having giardiasis, you should wash your hands regularly and avoid sharing utensils or towels to prevent the spread of infection among your household members. You are advised not to have sexual intercourse while you are being treated for trichomoniasis with oral antiprotozoal drugs as you may become reinfected. Storage of oral antiprotozoal drugs Oral antiprotozoal drugs should be kept in a cool and dry place unless specified on the label. Medicines should not be stored in refrigerators. Antimalarial drugs include mefloquine, chloroquine, proguanil with atovacone and doxycycline. They kill or inhibit the growth of protozoa by affecting different stage of parasitic life cycle. Antimalarial drugs proguanil with atovacone Signs and symptoms Nasea and vomiting, abdominal pain, diarrhea, cough, headache, dizziness, insomnia and abnormal dreams, depression, anorexia, fever, skin rash. Use with caution in patients with epilepsy, seizures, depression, or other mental health problems. Doxycycline, signs and symptoms. Nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, difficulty in swallowing, osophageal irritation, cause yellow teeth and teeth disfigurement if taken during teeth development. Precautions should not be given to pregnant or breastfeeding women and children under 12 years old. Not recommended for patients with kidney or liver disease. Miscellaneous antiprotozoals. The commonly used miscellaneous antiprotozoals are metronidazole, tinidazole, and niforatel. Metronidazole is the most common treatment for trichomoniasis and giardiasis. Tinidazole works as well as metronidazole and has many of the same side effects but it can be given in a single dose, whereas nifuratel can be used as an alternative to metronidazole or tinidazole in the treatment of trichomoniasis. Miscellaneous antiprotozoas Metronidazole and tinidazole Signs and symptoms Nausea and vomiting Unpleasant metallic taste Furred tongue Oral mucositis Anorexia Precautions Use with cautions in patients with blood disorders, central nervous system disease, and severe hepatic impairment. Nifuratel Precautions should not be given to patients with renal impairment, neuropathies, or G6PD deficiency. And that would be all for antiprotozoal drugs.